a series of Kelly knockouts as he attempts to steal a little bit of the Prince's thunder before the Prince's own extravagant entrance into the ring. Leave his dressing room and march out to the ring until the videotape was completed. A little bit past his peak. Look at Kevin's record. You might reflect that he's fought 14 times as a professional in Madison. Is this a... I think this kid has seen one too many earth that's been burning for months while the prince dawdles behind the... You know, when you're accustomed to doing things like this in your home, and you come out and don't do it when you start him is, when you come across the ocean. If you win, it, you're able to do it, but you've got to win, and you've got to win big. Understatement. Soon as we know it. <laughs> 28 wins, 26 by knockout, 18 inside three rounds, the last 16 by stoppage. Prince comes to the garden. A lot of the famous names of American boxing are here watching all this, among them Pennell, Sweet, and here comes the somersault. They've seen acrobatics before from the likes of Camacho. Prince Nassim lands in the United States. And when he landed, who was there to meet him? Kevin Kelly. They've been talking all week. I think they... Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Warren for Sports Network in association with Cedric Kushner Promotions, Victor Salomon and Eva Shane. And when the bell rings, two draws. And he has captured two world titles. Ladies and gentlemen, from flush fighting out of the blue corner, wearing leopard with Adidas trim, he weighs 126 pounds also. And he also seconded it to the finish. And he also has captured two world title belts. Tonight, he comes to America to show the world he must be considered as pound for pound and among the best in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from Sheffield, Best man win. Touch up. Let's go. Come on, guys. Touch it up. All right, let's do this. They reluctantly touch gloves for referee Benji Estevez from New Jersey and put the pressure on straight away. <laughs> Prince Nassim Hamid has been saying, I might even do this in round one, though his prediction is round three. <laughs> Kelly, as you can see, Southport can be tricky, lots of ring craft, but can be hit and hurt as well. Hamed, who boxed beautifully in his last appearance against Jose Badillo, broke him up inside seven rounds. 
Usually he's quite a slow starter, Naz. Takes a look for a while. Kelly will know all about Nassim's power. And will be careful that as he tries to land these southpaw jabs and dictate the pace, that he would be open possibly for a counter from a very heavy hitter. And in his last fight against Badillo, Hamed showed a very good southpaw jab, and I think he's got to try and get that into play. That could be difficult because he's quite widely outreached by Kevin Kelly, but he's got to get that southpaw jab working. There's always a smile playing around the lips of Hamed, who's only been on the floor once in his career against Daniel Alicia. Good left hand from Naz there. Hamed looking as if he relishes the occasion. Bound to have been a few butterflies, I think, no matter what he might say. This certainly got to be, he's either back to good left hand. Oh, great hand from Kelly on the counter, and Hamid is down for the second time in his career. He left himself open, and this is trouble. He doesn't look seriously hurt, but that has got the crowd on fire here, and most of them, of course, are pro Kelly. Well, Hamid leapt in with a big left. That looked a good shot, but it was the quick counter from Kelly which did the damage. This is a clever fighter, this Kevin Kelly. And he's got him again with the left hand. Make no mistake, I went to the Kelly camp, very professional. They'd done their homework. They'd watched videos of Hamid over and over again to work out their strategy. Naz is not badly shaken up, though. Well, it'll be a 10-8 round, that would, I think, for Kelly on the scorecards. It was not what the Prince had in mind on his American debut. Well, that will have been a big shock for Hamed. It came out of nothing, he just leapt in, as normal, with his hands down. You'll hit him with your bombs, but keep your right hand. Now, take a look at this again. Well, he left his chin out to dry, didn't he? He left it up in the air, hands down by his side. That's what he's got to be careful of. But in the past, fighters haven't been quick enough to capitalise on the slack defence of Hamed, but he came back very well with a quick shot, Kelly. It was lucky in a way that uh, Hamed was leaning away from the punch. He kind of rode it and was caught more off balance maybe than anything. If he'd been walking into that, who knows? He might have been over. Here's round two. What happens next here? We thought it would be dangerous to underestimate Kelly, and we've been proved right. But the last time he was on the floor against Alicia, Hamid came back to win in the second round. Kelly's jab, he's got it working, and he's stepping in, taking the center of the ring, and at the moment, you'd have to say, dictating affairs. There it is again. Well, that sharp jab of Kelly has really got the, the crowd shouting at him. Kelly's got the centre of the ring behind the jab, dominating at this stage. And switching it up to number like that. Three. He's got their weapon, Three. and he touched Four. down again. Five. He touched Five. down again, and that will be another knockdown counted against Prince Nassim Hamid. He's getting caught off balance, he looks all over the place, he looks wide open, Hamid, and he gets into the right counter, and down goes Kelly on the far side, it's not counted as a knockdown, very confusing on the far side from us, we'll take a look again at that, just to confirm, that was not scored as a knockdown for Hamid. Well, these fast punches from Kelly are finding massive holes and a big right hand from Kelly there. The chin is up, the hands are down, and Hamid has to change here because he's been caught by a lot of punches from Kevin Kelly. 
Well, he's picking holes in Nassim Hamid here. And you'd have to say at this moment... Oh, look at that go! Look at that go! Right hand from Hamid! He's always got the power! <laughs> and suddenly, it's different again. There's always the hope for such a big puncher as Hamid that he'll be able to deliver a knockout blow to get himself out of trouble. But again, Hamed, if he comes for the knockout, he has to be careful he doesn't leave his chin in the air because Kelly's still got his wits about him. This low-slung guard that Hamed has bases his defence on reflex. Kelly's stepping in, getting in range, and at the moment can hardly miss with the jab. And with some follow-up shots as well. Let's go. Kelly is so sharp and so accurate. Normally the, the reflexes are very good from Hamed. He can get out of the way, make the, the opponent miss, but he's struggling here to make Kelly miss. Kelly took a glance away from Hamed to somebody at ringside for a moment there. Oh, Last seconds. few seconds of the second round. Both of them have been, have been on the floor already. <laughs> Well, it's extraordinary what has happened here in this fight already. And, well, in the past, we have wondered about Hamed's defence, this lunging. And Kelly has got the technical answers, hasn't he? He really has the fast hands, finding massive gaps in the defence. Well, the defence from Hamed is always just reflexes. And it just, it's not working And I Look at that. Have you ever seen him get hit like that before? The chin up, but they're just a short little right hand. He came back with that well. He wasn't seriously hurt, Kelly. Give him a little look, almost just to say, well done, you got me there. What an unbelievable round this is. And then he took another one for good measure there as Kelly went down in the corner. That was not counted as a knockdown. Here's the third round. Again, the southpaw jab from Kelly, the native New Yorker. And his fans here are really believing that they can rip up the pre-fight script. And they've obviously came here with a, a very good game plan, the Kelly crew. And they're shouting in the corner, use the reach. Oh, he got him with the left hand, he did a bit of a silly dance with the legs there. Hamed. Here, Hamed is fighting a man who really believes that he has the tools to beat Hamed. He's going in with real self-belief. The jab is such a good weapon from Kelly, so very, very sharp. It isn't slipping it at all. Well, can he find some answers here? This is a man who has said he just cannot be beaten, that he'll be a legend. And again, a big left hand from Kelly. Hamed just cannot get out of the way of these punches. It's an unpalatable truth, but at the moment, Hamed is being outboxed. No question about it. This jab is just knocking his head back. And the entire American enterprise could be grounded unless maybe Prince Nassim can just detonate one of his really big punches to turn the whole thing on its head. Well, we never thought we'd see this, I don't think, did we, Glenn? I don't think so. I think we knew that Kelly had very good capabilities and that he had to box an intelligent fight. And he's shown that he's obviously went to school, locked himself away. He's studied how he's got to beat Hamid. And at the moment, he's going through with his game plan very well indeed. Whatever they worked on, and you can see it here, is working. Although there's a right hand from Hamid. 
and a very good little short left hand too from Hamed. That was better. Now he's starting to get through. Can he work his way back? Kelly again glancing at somebody off stage and not in his corner either. Five seconds. Last few seconds of round three, and that was a Kelly round again. That was the round that Nassim predicted he would win the fight. We're past that. And if you don't move your head, we're going to run into difficulties, and I don't want that. What we worked on to get this guy out of here was us, our tempo, correct? When you're hunting the peanut, think what you did to Craig. And watching at ringside, Ryan Rhodes, who lost in his world title attempt last week against Otis Grant in Sheffield, and he must be worried. The aura of invincibility that surrounded the camp is suddenly looking punctured. Take him off, you will gradually break him up off your job. Yeah. And bing, bing. Bang, and then come back. Don't break him up on him. He's had his fun now. He's had his fun. The words of Brendan Ingle, whose brother, by the way, a leading Irish amateur, fought in this arena about 60 years ago. Here's round four. The third again was a, a Kelly round, with Hammond coming back into it just towards the end, but not quite doing enough to win the round. Hammond has to start bringing his own jab into play. But Kelly has a five-inch reach advantage, and part of their plan was to use that. And now he's slipping a few more punches. Well, I think if Kelly starts coming closer to Hamid, that will suit Hamid more. Kelly's boxed so well from long range, using his, his reach and his speed. He doesn't want to get lulled into a fight, but the fight will suit Hamid. Just wonder whether Nassim has frozen a little early on on his American debut as well. Think that's part of it? It could well be a, a point. He just he's not getting his boxing together. He doesn't seem to have his, his speed, his reflexes are very poor. But I think we've got to say at this point it's a very good performance from Kevin Kelly. He's doing everything right. And they're just starting to pick up the tempo, and he's got him there. Hamed could turn this all around yet. That was a heavier shot. Kelly says he's all right, but he's down for the second time, and maybe this is the breakthrough after some very anxious, not to say embarrassing moments for Hamed early on. But Kelly had to keep it long range, as I said. He's getting involved in a fight. He's closing down, getting close to Hamid, and this is where Hamid can get him with punches. Another count. He touched down again. Touched down with a glove. It was a right hand. And Hamid has to take another count. He's not badly hurt, but he keeps touching down because he's off balance with the gloves. Big right, Hamid. And another left hand. Six, he's down for the second time in the round. Is he going to make it? No, he doesn't. He's knocked out. It is over. And Prince Nassim had it. Well, the American dream does take off for him after it looked so dodgy for so long. What an amazing fight that was. An amazing fight, but he prevailed with the, the extra power. Kelly decided to get in a fight, took the fight to him. As soon as he did that, Hamed, with his extra power, it then became his sort of fight, and he could take over. And the, the power was the key for Hamed. But from long range, Kelly was doing everything right, and I just do not know why he changed tactics and decided that now was the time to step in and take the fight to Hamed. Well, I tell you what, everybody connected with the American TV company, Sprat Warren. Everybody must be breathing a huge, huge sigh of relief. And there was a, a little question about whether Kelly had got up before it got quite to 10. I think it, he probably just didn't quite make it. The referee was right on top of it.
but there were some anxious moments there. Very, very anxious. I don't think he'd want to be in a fight like that again, Hamid. And I think he's got to look at his defence a little. Tremendous that he could pull it out and win when it was all going so badly, when he'd been on the floor, when he'd been hurt, but yet he could still pull it out. But he's just got to, he's got to look at that fight long and hard at the mistakes he, he, met, he made, and there were many. He's won, but really, it has to be said, not in the way that they would have hoped for. There's the big left hand. Kelly goes down very heavily. But now it was Hamed's game. Kelly was too close to him, wasn't behind that long reach, and Hamed could then start to take over. There's just where Hamed had to take account, caught by a punch, leaping in, and he touched down with his right hand. Absolutely extraordinary. It was the extra power of Nassim Hamed that won him that fight in the end. But I don't think really anybody could have pre-scripted or pre-choreographed what we saw there. There the power comes into play, that short, choppy little left hand, a good punch. There it is again, the legs just turn to jelly. And the punch power, maybe, well, almost definitely, got Prince Nassim out of jail there. He really did. I think credit to Hamid for showing good character, for not falling apart under pressure when everything was going so wrong. He kept at it and finally come out a winner. The official time, two minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. Referee Benji Estevez calls a halt to the bout. The winner, and still the undefeated WBA featherweight champion of the world, Prince Nazim Hutman. Well, he's still the champion. It was his ninth. First of all, I come out of the first round, and I know my jab was too clean and nice and fast, but still, I wanted a bit of a fight. I wanted to cause so much excitement in this arena. It's my first night, it's my first fight in New York, Madison Square Garden, and I wanted to show the people. What's going on here? Was he presenting a different picture than you imagined? I didn't really see the shot, so I've got to give it him. But look at me, straight up. That's the heart of a lion. That is the heart of a lion. Right. A champion's heart, straight up. Compose myself at him again. It'd have been the best. All right, here's this. Look, there's look a at that. There you go. There you go. Now, if I didn't walk up to him too as fast as I did, that he wouldn't get up. That was the second round. There you go. All I hate him with a perfect right hand. Now, look, you can see him smiling, but he knows the pain. I was, I was, smiling, I was smiling when he hit me. I'll show you, really, it's all just showmanship. And it produced a big crowd at Madison. Sorry, the people in New York. I, I was protecting my house and my house that Ruth built. Um, I deviated. That's what I did. Phil was telling me the right information. We trained the right way. And what happened was, I seen I had him. I had him big time. I could hurt him when I hit him. I hit harder than he did. And I felt his power. It wasn't as big as he said it was. It wasn't bigger than everybody thinks it is. And I, and I showed him mine. And when I showed him, you're a knockdown of him. Right here, I'm setting him up. He's getting over anxious. I noticed when I hit him with the first punch. I said, man, every time I hit him, I hurt him. Uh, his, right here, I'm trying to, I'm trying to set him up with the jab. You know, he's very careless. He does a lot of mistakes. Here we the overhand left. As you can see, I'm down, but I'm not really that hurt. You know, I'm gonna stay down a little wobbly, but that's like, you know, okay, cool. You know, I'm, I'm understandable. You know, I'm gonna get up the count of eight. You know, I got the count of eight. Take the rest. You see me? I'm a veteran at this. I know what it is to get knocked down. I think I take the full rest. Bill was telling me grab him. I'm looking at the corner. You know, I want to come back. You know, I want to come back. You know, because what happens is when he starts loading and throwing. He starts getting over anxious himself, and he was getting caught. But you have to give him credit for his power. He came into you. He came and came into your building, and he, he took care of business. Prince Nassim Hamid has been saying, "I might even do this in round one." Though his prediction is round three. Kelly, as you can see, Southpaw can be tricky, lots of ring craft, but can be hit and hurt as well. Hamed 
who boxed beautifully in his last appearance against Jose Badillo, broke him up inside seven rounds. Usually he's quite a slow starter, Naz. Takes a look for a while. Kelly will know all about Nassim's power and will be careful that as he tries to land these southpaw jabs and dictate the pace that he would be open possibly for a counter from a very heavy hitter. And in his last fight against Badillo, Hamed showed a very good southpaw jab and I think he's got to try and get that into play. That could be difficult because he's quite widely outreached by Kevin Kelly, but he's got to get that southpaw jab working. There's always a smile playing around the lips of Hamed, who's only been on the floor once in his career against Daniel Alicia. Good left hand from Naz there. Hamed looking as if he relishes the occasion bound to have been a few butterflies I think no matter what he might say there's certainly got to be he's, he's a butterfly good left oh, hand right oh. from Kelly oh. on the counter and oh. Hammond is down oh. for the second time in his oh. career oh. he left himself open and this is trouble he doesn't look seriously hurt but that has got the crowd on fire here and most of them, of course, are pro Kelly. Well, Hamid left in with a big left. That looked a good shot, but it was the quick counter from Kelly which did the damage. This is a clever fighter, this Kevin Kelly. And he's got him again with the left hand. Make no mistake, I went to the Kelly camp very professional. They'd done their homework. They'd watched videos of Hamid over and over again to work out their strategy. Naz is not badly shaken up, though. Well, it'll be a 10-8 round, that would, I think, for Kelly on the scorecards. It was not what the Prince had in mind on his American debut. Well, that will have been a big shock for Hamed. It came out of nothing, he just... Yeah, he left his chin out to dry, didn't he? He left it up in the air, hands down by his side. That's what he's got to be careful of. But in the past, fighters haven't been quick enough to capitalise on the slack defence of Hamed, but he came back very well with a quick shot, Kelly. He was lucky in a way that uh, Hamed was leaning away. Who knows? He might have been over. Here's round two. What happens next here? We thought it would be dangerous to underestimate Kelly, and we've been proved right. But the last time he was on the floor against Alicia, Hamid came back to win in the second round. Kelly's jab, he's got it working, and he's stepping in, taking the centre of the ring, and at the moment, you'd have to say, dictating affairs. There it is again! Well, that sharp jab of Kelly has really got the, the crowd shouting at him. Kelly's got the centre of the ring behind the jab, dominating at this stage. And switching it doesn't come with that. He's got there one hand, and he touched down again. He touched down again, and that will be another knockdown counted against Prince Nassim Hamid. He's getting caught off balance. He looks all over the place. He looks wide open. Hamid, and he gets into the right Whoa. counter, and down Whoa. goes Kelly on the far side. It's not counted as a knockdown. Very confusing on the far side from us. We'll take a look again at that. Just to confirm, that was not scored as a knockdown for Hamid. Well, these fast punches from Kelly are finding massive holes and a big right hand from Kelly there. The chin is up, the hands are down, and Hamid has to change here because he's been caught by a lot of punches from Kevin Kelly. Well, he's picking holes in Nassim Hamid here. And you'd have to say at this moment... Oh, look at that, though! Look at that, though! Right hand from Hamid! 
He's always got the power. Oh. And suddenly it's different again. There's always the hope for such a big puncher as Hamid that he'll be able to deliver a knockout blow to get himself out of trouble. But again, Hamed, if he comes for the knockout, he has to be careful he doesn't leave his chin in the air because Kelly's still got his wits about him. This low-slung guard that Hamed has bases his defence on reflex. Kelly's stepping in, getting in range, and at the moment can hardly miss with the jab. And with some follow-up shots as well. Kelly is so sharp and so accurate. Normally the, the reflexes are very good from Hamed. He can get out of the way, make the, the opponent miss, but he's struggling here to make Kelly miss. Kelly took a glance away from Hamed to somebody at ringside for a moment there. Last few seconds of the second round. Both of them have been on the floor already. Hamed's <laughs> defence, this lunging... And Kelly has got the technical answers, hasn't he? He really has the fast hands, finding massive gaps in the defence. Well, the defence from Hammond is always just reflexes. And it's just, it's not working And I Look at that. Have you ever seen him get hit like that before? The chin up. But they're just a short little right hand. He came back with that well. He wasn't seriously hurt, Kelly. Give him a little look. Almost just to say, well done, you got me there. What an unbelievable round this is. And then he took another one for good measure there as Kelly went down in the corner. That was not counted as a knock. Nassim lands in the United States. Here's round four. The third again was a, a Kelly round with Hamid coming back into it just towards the end but not quite doing enough to win the round. Hamid has to start bringing his own jab into play. But Kelly has a five inch reach advantage and part of their plan was to use that. And now he's slipping a few more punches. I think if Kelly starts coming closer to Hamid, that will suit Hamid more. Kelly's boxed so well from long range, using his, his reach and his speed. He doesn't want to get lulled into a fight, but the fight will suit Hamid. Just wonder whether Nassim has frozen a little early on on his American debut as well. I think that's part of it. It could well be a, a point. He just, he's not getting his boxer together. He doesn't seem to have his, his speed. His reflexes are very poor. But I think we've got to say, at this point, it's a very good performance from Kevin Kelly. He's doing everything right. And they're just starting to pick up the tempo. And he's got him there. Hamed could turn this all around yet. That was a heavier shot. Kelly says he's all right, but he's down for the second time, and maybe this is the breakthrough after some very anxious, not to say embarrassing moments for Hamed early on. But Kelly had to keep it long range, as I said. He's getting involved in a fight. He's closing down, getting close to Hamid, and this is where Hamid can get him with punches. Another count. He touched down again. Touched down with a glove. It was a right hand, and Hamid has to take... Another count. He's not badly hurt, but he keeps touching down because he's off balance with the gloves. Big right, Hamid. And another left hand hook. That might not be the end of it. No. Kelly bounces up. The count is at six. He's done for the second time in the round. Is he going to make it? No, he doesn't. He's knocked out. It is over. And Fritz Nassim had it. Well, the American dream does take off for him after he...